Welcome to my mathematics demo. This time I will look at magic squares ad and its properties. Magic squares were first discovered in various parts of the world including India and China. First you will need to download the Excel document from the link below displayed in the info section of YouTube. So let's take a look at magicsquares.xls file. The file consists of four tabs at the bottom. Magic Square Worksheet 1, this consists of interactive 3x3 magic squares. Magic Square Worksheet 2, this consists of interactive 4x4 magic squares. Magic Square Worksheet 3, this consists of interactive 5x5 magic squares. And Magic Square Solution Sheet, here you can generate 3x3, 4x4 and 5x5 five five magic squares and its series. So let's start with magic square worksheet 1. The first grid has a set of numbers 1 to 9 here, which need to be arranged in the 3x3 three three grid here and must only be used once. The numbers placed in grid are highlighted in red 2, 3, 5 here. The numbers must be placed in the grid such that the sum of the horizontal, vertical and the leading diagonals add up to 15 as shown here as some of the elements. So let's put some values in. Remembering that the sum of the elements must add up to 15. So we have 2, 5 which is a total of 7 diagonally. So the number that needs to go here to add up to 15 would be 8. There we go. And here what we have is the sum of the numbers horizontally, vertically, diagonally, there. And our sum is 15, which means this is a one possible combination of numbers which would work diagonally. So let's put some other numbers in. What you'll notice, the number that we put in 8 here is instantly highlighted in red, which means that we've only got 1, 4, 6, 7 and 9 left to use. However, if you place a number by mistake that's already been used, such as 8 again, we will have 8 highlighted in two places, which means that you've, you've used 8 twice. So let's delete 8, but if you say use a number 3, which is a hard-coded hard number there already, pre-placed in the grid, we'll have a number, a single number highlighted because the pre-placed number is in its correct place already. So we delete that number 3 and move on. 8 plus 3 we have is 11 as displayed here. 11 plus something gives us a total of 15 and that number would be 4. We have a total of 15 vertically down. What you'll also notice is if you use any numbers outside of this range 1 to 9, say a number 12, it will instantly come up with a invalid numeric entry dialog which suggests that uh, you've put a wrong value in. Please enter values defined in cells A8 to I8 only. So let's click retry and enter values from one of these numbers that are left. We have 4 plus 2 which is 6 horizontally. The only other number we need to add to 6 to give us 15 would be 
nine. So let's complete this off quickly. One, six, and seven. We have a full grid now, which uh, vertically adds up to fifteen horizontally and diagonally, as displayed there. We have used all the values for at the top up, and that's why they're highlighted all in red now. And we've only used it once within this grid, otherwise the values would be highlighted in red here as well, if we've used the same value more than once. What we have on the same worksheet is three other grids displayed here, with their respective series that need to be placed within these grids, exactly in the same manner and the sum of the elements that the grids, horizontal, vertical and diagonal elements should add up to is displayed as the sum of the elements here, here and here. Let's move on to Magic Square Worksheet 2. Exactly the same principle applies in Magic Square Worksheet 2 um, except the grid is now a 4x4 four four grid and the series is displayed vertically and the sum of the elements uh, horizontally, vertically and diagonally all add up to the, uh, the sum of the elements shown here here and here respectively within each block Magic Square Worksheet 3 same principles again of that 5x5 five five grid with the series here and the sum of the elements here for this 5x5 grid, five five grid and this final 5x5 five five grid we have a series here of odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on and the respective grid 5x5 five five grid here with the sum of the elements 125 what I will do here is try and take you through one of the methods that's used to generate a 5x5 five five grid or an odd grid so a 3x3, three three, a 5x5, five five, a 7x7, seven seven, a 9x9 nine nine grid basically we take the series the first digit of the series is first is the usually the lowest digit of the series and we place that in the middle square of the top line of the grid which is in this case it's the third one along as it's a 5x5 five five grid we put one there and it's already been placed for us so the method in effect is basically move diagonally upright and wrap around and bump off is what I call this method so basically from here we move diagonally upright which is this square because it's outside of the grid we wrap around to the bottom come back up to the bottom and replace the digit the second digit within the series which is 3 here now we move along diagonally upright again this uh, next digit is 5 we place here move along diagonally upright again because we're outside of our grid spec we wrap around to the other side which is here and the next number is 7 that's already been pre-placed for us so move again diagonally upright to here next number is 9 we place that in there move again diagonally upright there's a number already pre-placed there therefore we move bounce off it's like bump off bounce off that one back to where we were and bounce down a step here we put an 11 and then move diagonally upright 13 diagonally upright again 15 diagonally upright again wrap around we have 17 diagonally upright again wrap around to the left we have 19 diagonally upright bump off again bump down a step 21 diagonally upright 23 diagonally upright 25 pre-placed for us 
diagonally upright 27, diagonally upright 29, diagonally upright. This is, because this is a corner square and it's outside of the grid spec, we, what we do here is bounce off like we do if we was treat it as if there was a digit there already. Bounce off, back to where we were, bounce down a square and we have 31. Diagonally upright, we have 33 pre-placed fours. Diagonally upright, wrap around to the bottom, we have 35. Diagonally upright, 37. Diagonally upright, 39. Diagonally upright, bounce off, bounce down to a step from 39 to 41. Diagonally upright, 43. Diagonally upright, wrap around to this side, 45. Diagonally upright, 47. And diagonally upright, a final digit has been pre-placed for us as 49. As we can see, this method will work for any odd numbered n by n grid, um, starting with the middle value, first value in the middle uh, n by n grid section at the top line. And the sum of the elements add up to 125 horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. Okay, let's move on to Magic Square Solution Sheet. In this interactive worksheet, you can fully immerse yourself in generating solutions of 3x3, 4x4, and 5x5 magic squares. This is done by selecting the values here, so you get to see 3x3, 4x4 squares. Okay, but what I'll do is stick it on 5x5, so we get to see all the magic squares, all three magic squares being generated here and the series is displayed here, the series that's being used first nine numbers are used by 3x3 three by three magic square and it's some of the elements displayed here the next first 16 numbers are used by the 4x4 four four magic square and it's some of the elements displayed there and the all 25 numbers are used by the 5x5 five five magic square and is some of the elements displayed here respectively. You can print this uh, document off and keep uh, can be used as a worksheet for class activity. What you'll notice uh, to generate the series basically what you'd have to do is you set your first value in this case it was 15 let's change that value to say 6 and then we set a step value of uh, at the moment is 5 so we can change that step value to 3 and it, we will get a new series generated instantly and the grid updated accordingly with the sum of the elements as well this is, this is very good uh, if you'd like to know the solutions to these problems and um, you can expand these grids and hope you enjoyed my demo. Don't forget to click on the link in the info section below for your very own copy of magicsquare.xls file.